now we are actually over over a thousand over what we need to uh, give to Gosnold to complete the game but we're not gonna pass up my favorite level in the game just because we actually can beat it no 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 uh, we have the first and most threatening uh, level enemy level specific enemy excuse me of the entire game the pile of metal armor that doesn't actually do anything because it's a pile of metal armor with nothing inside of it and uh, accompanied by that is the uh, second most threatening enemy of the level exclusive only this level the wooden door which can be charged or flamed through into a bunch of cubes and an actual exclusive enemy that is actual an enemy the grenadier nork which uh, I think that's actually a skin but it's supposed to resemble chainmail I'm pretty sure and he has a wooden shield uh, they didn't even bother trying to make him slightly difficult by not letting you flame him uh, you can charge right through him at any time this is a distant cousin to the green wizards of the magic crafters world this is the blue wizard constantly in the middle of a thunderstorm constantly shooting thunder at me from actual range rather than a melee attack as the green wizards were also endowed in the power of this storm maker is the ability to possess inanimate objects such as <clears throat> large uh, suits of armor that use their own helmet as a clubbing device a blunt object which I'm going to go nowhere near it'll just flatten me like everything else in this game and we can see right there the act of possession occurring and not every single uh, suit of armor is there for offense this one here is for defense and will not let us pass but that is clearly the way we're supposed to go. Being a large metal enemy, uh, we cannot actually accomplish this without severe faking of the enemy. That's not actually supposed to be allowed, but because I'm just that skilled, uh, I can avoid all of this damage while talking about it. Scratch that. I can uh, make myself in that point of the level less than three seconds into talking about it. If we go through the door on the end, we can accidentally kill the threat uh, harming this poor defenseless fairy. Uh, if we would have stayed in here long enough, we would have seen that she was being terrorized by the Grenadier Nork and is very thankful uh, for being rescued, endowing us with the power of a fairy's kiss for a short period of time. Just the thing we need to take down, say, a large suit of armor blocking our path. If we are quick about it, we can actually destroy a large metal door off to the side of the uh, level as well, and flame non-possessed suits of armor on the ground that are nowhere near a blue fair or a blue wizard, uh, and they'll give us gems anyway. Which suggests again that Gnastiga Nork turned gems into suits of armor that were inanimate and relied on a completely different enemy to make them sentient. Gnasty Gnork, not a brilliant tactician. <laughs> a bold stance. Now I know what you're thinking, RJ, uh, you can't you can't progress further into the level because uh, the whirlwind's gonna make you glide. Ch chill, chill, noble RJ Watcher. Uh, if we hold charge and forward, half of the time we will actually make it to this platform, half the time we won't. Luckily, uh, I won't have to cut anything out there. Uh, instead, we have a little bit of a gauntlet here. Uh, you can see many possessed and non-possessed uh, suits of armor. Blue Wizard's uh, magic lasts even uh, in death, so... These things will remain a threat until we can come back with something that'll kill large metal enemies, supercharge or super flame. And judging by the precariously placed strong box at the edge of the ledge, I hope that it's supercharge. No, super flame! Ock, oh sock. Hey Spyro, all dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. 
This guy really needs to get with the program. You're not even supposed to be able to reach this platform without using the power of uh, Fairy's Kiss. So, really. Okay. Um, we really need to actually access the power of Fairy's Kiss quite soon because this area is getting filled up with uh, impenetrable enemies. Uh, large metal doors which cannot be broken down similarly to the metal suits of armor um, So pretty much the level is gonna work like this. We're gonna get through some doors We're gonna find a fairy. We're gonna get to get through some more doors, and we're gonna find a fairy until we reach the end And that's not why it's my favorite level in the game You just have to sit tight Though it is an interesting mechanic, and I do enjoy it up to this point. There is something that seals the deal later on now, uh, the fairy sort of warps to us, uh, depending on how far away we are. If we were running at full speed towards the fairy, uh, I'm saying she will kiss us further away. If we walk slowly, she'll move towards us so that we're actually closer to where we need to be, which gives us slightly more odds of flaming everything we need to flame, including this door and strong box and if we can take it across the bridge we can actually flame one of these maybe three of these four objects before the flames ran out um, but this isn't a speed run this is a let's play and I'm not here to challenge myself on areas of re reflexes or speed this is strictly a jumping challenge now um, yeah. But, come on, really? We actually uh, reached the supercharged ramp that uh, makes this level more than your standard super flame affair and allows us to progress through which we would not be able to normally because this actually takes much more uh, much more time to reach than the fairy's kiss will allow. We have to utilize the supercharge through the hallways and into one of six numbered unnumbered doors. Some are metal, some are flame, and therefore need no supercharge. But one of them actually houses, uh, if we look through the windows, a fairy, which means we don't need to bring the supercharge down here at all. As long as you rescue it from the grenadier again, we can uh, just tear up every single thing like it's not even a problem, which defeats the purpose of the supercharge one, which makes me skeptical about the supercharge, because they wouldn't add it in there if I could just use it twice to break through doors which are straight ahead of it. I mean, I'm the master of the supercharge if you didn't see the treetops level. Also, if you make the connection, uh, my two favorite levels in the game are treetops and haunted mansion. What do they share in common? So you'll understand where this is going in just a quick moment. Ola Toll. Hold your horns! Here comes Spyro! Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Hold your horns! Uh, the two on your head, the one on your chin, and the one on your nose. You don't have enough hands to hold all four horns, is what I'm saying. If we go out the fifth, fourth, fifth, there's only five doors here, I lied. Uh, I guess six if you count the entrance. If you go out the fifth door, counting the first as the entrance, uh, you'll see what is very misleading as a supercharged ramp. Uh, doubly misleading in that it has a strong box on it, which is not quite on the ground. You can see that because it's on a slope, they didn't actually make it sloped. It's, I guess, maybe all of the treasure is stacked onto this corner, which puts the weight on this leg. I'm guessing. But, uh, you think we need to supercharge up this ramp and go flying over there. But that's not true. It's just simply not true, because we broke open this, which has the stairs, which lead right there. Also, if we try to supercharge and bring along that ramp, the curve is too tight. You can't actually supercharge uh, up that ramp and get air off of it. Which, uh, it sets the seed for the puzzle. We've established that the supercharge needs to be used to get somewhere. Or break open something. 
Uh, we've also established earlier in the level there were things which were difficult to reach with the Super Flame allotted. So, of course, the solution has nothing to do with uh, the two things are completely unrelated. Ignore them. Instead, we take the staircase up to where we can't super glide, super glide, supercharge, super glides, and don't even worry about that. Uh, supercharge up here. Uh, you'll see there are a lot more th uh, suits of armor, and only one fairy, which is pretty much in a centralized location. You can understand that this is not part of a puzzle. This is just a uh, all uh, the reaction time on the metal armor is not enough to make it really a threat. Also, the range on the super flame, uh, regular flame even, is so much that it moots any danger you'd be in this level. They really didn't ramp up the difficulty in the Dreamweaver's world until the next level, which is the boss level, which makes sense being a boss level, uh, is actually the most difficult level in the entire game. So prepare yourselves for that. Uh, until then, you'll understand that we are at the return home portal, but... Uh, we are missing 172 gems and a whole dragon, which we did not see on the way here. And we still have the mystery of the supercharge looming over our behorned and be mohawked heads. So let's just travel right back up to the top of the supercharge and see where we can accidentally end up. Hmm. There's absolutely no way to supercharge up a supercharge ramp, so if we just get a good look from up here, is there anywhere that we haven't gone yet? That, that is a ramp. There's no doubts about it, that is a ramp that leads to nowhere. So let's see if we can manage to get our supercharge to that ramp. If there's one thing I love in Spyro the Dragon, it's uh, supercharging straight into a brick wall. It's uh, a blind jump. Uh, normally, it's a blind jump. You would supercharge through multiple supercharges that are unrelated and actually do a uh, glide at the end of the jump. But hey, we take what we can when we can get it. If we take the supercharge down here, for instance, and wrap it around this corner, we can actually reach not one, not two, not three, not four, but five magic mushrooms. I know it only looks like four, but trust me. Uh, also, I'm not going to glide up the whirlwind. Uh, you can charge. And right around the corner, just in case you didn't want to do it again, on the uh, pock. You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. I already established that I was the master of the supercharge in the treetops, but I appreciate the sentiment. Now, we enter the final room of the game. And what makes this level cemented in my head as the greatest level in Spyro the Dragon. You'll see that there is a staircase full of uh, suits of metal armor which are not actually possessed, but they're quickly becoming much more dangerous than they look. Also, there's a firework, which I'm, I'm fine with uh, charging straight into, even though my sparks is almost depleted entirely. Because... Uh, ignoring... Oh, because, uh, wait, because I am skilled enough to make the jumps and avoid the damage from the metal suits of armor, trust me, trust me, even though they can hit me on different planes uh, as long as I'm in the air, and, oh, I can actually get flattened in midair, which must equate to some very dense air beneath Spyro the Dragon. Uh... Ignoring the metal suits of armor this time um, because they are actually more threatening when placed in close proximity to one another, which they haven't been up until this point in the level. Uh, okay, and we can see that the blue wizard controlling all of this is behind a suit of armor, which has a shield, which really doesn't need to use the shield since it blocks me with the midpoint of its armor. Also, it is all armor. It doesn't need a shield. Uh, um, huh. We also see a wooden door on the other side, which we can't access because it's being blocked by a metal suit of armor. Uh, let's actually 
this is actually just a hole that leads back to the room with six doors in it. So we don't want to go that way. We've already got everything down there. Instead, we just want to get flattened again by the metal suit of armor, of course. Um, well, this is actually a bit of a challenge, puzzle. It's definitely something different from the norm uh, so far in the video game. There is a bit of a timing and logic and challenge puzzle there. If you make it up the staircase close and quick enough, uh, the blue wizard will start from the bottom and go up. You can actually beat the possession and get trapped on the other side rather than the outside. So hopefully on the other side of the door there will be something that actually will help bust out of this predicament. That fairy is not wearing purple. That fairy in a gold dress is quite different from every other fairy in the game. The only instance of the gold dressed fairy whose kiss is so tantalizing that Spyro stays beat red permanently, allowing us safe passage through the rest of the level, and as long as we are quick with our reaction time, uh, all the gems we could possibly ask for out of uh, metal, seemingly invincible uh, creatures and boxes. There is the short matter of actually returning to the very beginning of the level where there were metal armor. But that's nothing a quick death can't solve. Oh wait, I've got a checkpoint up here. It is actually possible to break open every metal uh, structure in the level without getting the super flame, perma super flame, but one, there's no fun in that, and two, it actually takes more effort than you'd think. You have to employ a number of uh, cheesing strategies in order to get fast enough to reach these ones over here. Fast enough, strangely not involving the supercharge. NOT INVOLVING THE SUPERCHARGE! Now that is a hairpin turn right there. Uh, also, you could just supercharge through all of these things and collect all the gems once you respawn. You could also blow up the fireworks without the super flame. But again, where's the fun in that? And with that, we've actually 100%ed the only thing we can 100% in the Dreamweaver's world. Again, cementing why this is my favorite level. But we've exited the level above a gap over every level. Before this, why not this one too? That's 500 more treasure that we don't actually need. This is just for status at this point.